First, I'd like to begin with a question. Can you believe it? We made it. Through the trials and tribulations this last year and a half has presented, we trudged through and made it here today to our graduation ceremony. It wasn't easy. We faced challenges many students of the past and future will not. Nurses of a global pandemic. In March of 2020, I was in my public health course completing my foundation year of the alternate entry MSN program. No better course to be in, I suspect, than public health when the world faces a global health crisis. And by June, I was a nurse working at the bedside, as were many of us here today, in the midst of it all suddenly. When the world shut down, we stepped up. We withstood a lot of challenges as students throughout all of this and came out better prepared as a result. We're ready to forge forward and take on the world and whatever new obstacles may come our way. When courses transitioned to online suddenly in the middle of the semester, we adapted. When clinicals became technology driven, we figured it out. Our education never stopped. And that truly is a testament to everyone here today. Nursing school is not easy by any means. Never mind when we face a life-threatening virus taking over the world during it. The traditional nursing education we were so accustomed to transitioned dramatically and suddenly, and we had to roll with it quickly. Think about that. Suddenly, one day, it all changed. And we figured it out, and now here we are today, completing degrees despite all of these challenges. It certainly wasn't a traditional educational route, but nonetheless, we have succeeded. And we did not do it alone. In addition to our families, friends, significant others, coworkers, or whomever cheered you on and supported you during this journey, the UT Nursing School faculty aided in our successes as well. The flexibility, understanding, support, and kindness of the professors here has not only assisted in me meeting my educational goals, but have also made me a better person with a clearer vision of my future. They've also shown me so clearly the kind of nurse the world needs. On October 4th at 1 a.m., I received a phone call from my younger sister. My normally stoic and to the point sister was in tears, barely able to get words out. Dad coded, she said. That means at that moment, my dad was not alive and was requiring resuscitation or CPR to be revived. I had no words except, I'll be right there. Not an easy promise to make considering they were 2000 miles away in Connecticut, but I bought a flight, packed my bags, and was headed home by 5 a.m. Those six serviceless hours on the plane were nerve wracking. Would he be okay? I'd never been on this side of healthcare before. The concerned family member desperate for information, it gave me a new perspective. It turns out my dad coded three times that night, required seven shocks to get his rhythm back in check and was technically dead for 10 minutes. Thankfully, the staff at that Connecticut hospital was able to bring him back place a stent and he's alive and well today. I spent a significant amount of time later thinking about the kind of nurse I wanted my dad to have while at the hospital. The kind of nurse UT has so well prepared me to be. A nurse with empathy, compassion, professionalism. Someone who is a strong-willed patient advocate with the knowledge and skills to equip a good nurse. Honestly, many of us here today. During my foundation year of nursing school, I was able to do a day in the ICU. It was not an easy unit to work in, especially when your patients are on ventilators, sedated, et cetera, and not able to speak for themselves. It requires a great deal of assessment skills and advocacy to provide the best care for your patient. I remember having a patient who was on ECMO, which is a form of life support that serves to replace the function of the lungs and heart in a patient who maybe can't pump enough blood to the body or oxygenate their own blood. The patient was sedated and on a ventilator, so paralyzed at that. The nurse I worked with still explained every single thing she did to the patient, made sure the patient was comfortable before doing any amount of movement, had lengthy conversations with family members providing updates, and did the smallest things to ensure the patient was comfortable, felt safe, and cared for. The patient was a human being to this nurse, someone's parent, someone's child, or someone's sibling. She treated them as though the patient were her parent, her child, or her sibling. I walked away that day thinking, I'm going to be that nurse. When I applied to UT's alternate entry MSN program, I had to submit a statement of purpose explaining why I wanted to attend UT and get this degree. My reason was that I wanted to be a leader in the nursing community. 
Ask me then what I meant by that? I'd have no real idea. I just wanted to get into school. Ask me now? I wanna be the nurse I wanted for my dad on that day in October. Or the nurse I worked with in the ICU that day. I wanna inspire others to be that nurse as well. The one who maintains a level of expertise in their practice, provides patient-centered care, and has a level of empathy for both the patient and their family members. The one who advocates for the patient's needs and provides education to keep them healthy long-term. If I can convince even one of us to take a second to reflect on the perspective of another before sighing when a patient's concerned family member calls for the third time during the shift, I'll have begun to accomplish my goal. UT has cultivated a culture that motivates its students to be change agents, to be compassionate, understanding, patient-centered nurses with the knowledge and skill to back it up. This is reflected in the faculty, students, and now as graduates. While I may have had a very unique nursing school experience, what with the global pandemic and all, we're coming out of it together stronger, more adaptable, resilient, and destined for greatness. So, Congratulations are in order. First, for arriving at this point today. Graduation. Second, for all the growth we have done throughout our time at UT, personally, professionally, and scholastically. And finally, for becoming the nurses that could one day save my dad's life. I am so very proud of you all and thankful to be graduating alongside all of you here today. I hope you all go forward and work as those, as a younger 2018 me so aptly put it, leaders in the nursing community. I know we're all capable and equipped to be. Congratulations, nurses.